Authenticating baseball cards can seem like an intimidating process but with the right knowledge and methods, you can determine if that vintage Mickey Mantle card or rare rookie card is the real deal or a well-made fake. Here are the key steps and things to examine when looking to verify the authenticity of a baseball card. The first step is to do your research. Take the time to familiarize yourself with the card you want to authenticate so you know what details to look for. Check multiple sources for photos of the real card in various grades and familiarize yourself with any known variations, errors, or counterfeits that have been produced of that specific card over the years. Knowing the card inside and out will help you spot anything out of the ordinary. Next, carefully examine the front of the card. Check that the photo and any color tones, touch-ups, or airbrushing match what is known for the real card. Inspect the borders and corners for any flaws, things, or imperfections that look unnatural. Vintage cards often had imperfect cutting and corners that were not always square. Replicas sometimes have corners and edges that are too perfect. Carefully examine any words or numbers for the correct fonts, spacing, and whether they are crisp or show tiny imperfections like the real items. The back of the card provides valuable authenticating details too. Check that the wording of any descriptions, player stats, or manufacturer information matches what should be present on the real card. Inspect the stock or cardboard material for the right texture, thickness, and flex that vintage paper often had. Some replicas are made of slightly different card stock that may feel off. Compare any color patterns or templates with how they correctly appear on real examples. Examine any signatures, autographs or markings very closely with the bright light and magnifying glass if possible. Look for tiny inconsistencies in pen pressure, line quality or flow that authentic autographs usually contain but well done fakes can miss. Check for signs the signature may have been altered, added later or applied with the wrong writing instrument compared to when the card would have originally been signed decades ago. Get a high quality loop or jeweler's loop to thoroughly inspect under high magnification. This allows you to detect tells such as imperfect cuts and prints, raised or uneven inks, differences in paper fibers, glue stains imperfect creases or dots that can indicate an altered or reprinted item rather than one that is original. You may uncover anomalies invisible to the naked eye. Do a bend test on all corners very carefully. Authentic vintage cards will show microscopic cracks and creases from years of natural folding and storage. Replicas aim to look pristine so may not show any signs of age, use or damage even under high power magnification. The card stock response can also differ when flexed. Have the card graded and authenticated by a reputable third-party service. Professionally graded cards will include an assessment verifying authenticity along with the assigned numeric grade. While grading is not a perfect system, it provides an expert authentication that adds substantial value and verification to your card. Beware of cheaper grading options that do not thoroughly check for forms of fakes or fraud. You can also try using an ultraviolet light to examine the card. Some inks and paper types used in fakes may fluoresce or glow differently under UV compared to original dyes and materials. Black lights are readily available and another tool for the authenticator's toolkit. To truly confirm a card is not counterfeit, you may need to send the item to professional vintage sports authentication experts for their evaluation. Companies like PSA slash DNA, Beckett Authentication or James Spence Authentication have unparalleled knowledge and equipment to detect even the most expertly crafted fakes. They will issue a formal letter of authenticity you can rely on if your card checks out 100% real. While there are no guarantees in life, following these steps diligently and combining multiple authentication methods provides a very strong basis to determine if that prize baseball card is the real McCoy or deserves further inspection from authorities. With practice, even novice collectors can gain the skills to confidently know whether something is an authentic piece of sports history or an entertaining forgery. Taking the time for thorough evaluation is key to making an informed choice.